going on everybody red line again wanted to bring y'all some more little little footage for the channel I'm trying to grow the channel or whatever but today let's go on speak about my car and get a little advice on if i should do the things that i have planned for my car or not car has roughly around 131,000 miles on it. It's a clean car. Uh, it's pretty much stock besides like um, my exhaust. So she's pretty much stock. I don't drive her much. Try not to put more miles on her because the stuff I do want to get done to her as far as like engine wise, more power, better sounds. It's like, should I? Should I not? But with these 4.6s, you know, they last for a while. You know, they're not the fastest cars out here or whatever the best handling cars, but they're good cars for what they are. And yes, they are common. Anyone can actually buy a 2005 through 2009 Mustang GT for easily under 10 grand. My car is paid for, so I don't have to worry about no finances or any of the extras that people have to deal with when they buying a, a car like this. She is dirty because I park her by the tree. I try to keep her away from people sitting on her. She was clean. She still is clean. She go for another bath or so. She's been sitting for about about three days without a start. But yeah, this is my um my 2009. Oh, I said 2009. This is my 2005 first gen of this uh, S197. This is my second one. I did have a 08 California Special that was white and black, <sighs> and this cool out here. But I did have an 08 that was white and black. It's my second one. I love these cars. I like the way they sound. I like for what they are. Let's go ahead. And yeah, you know, um, just wanted to know. I'm about to check my oil, so it's nothing, nothing major. I probably can't start her up for you guys. Let me see if I can prop my camera up somewhere. You guys a little cold start. Let me see. How would this look if I sit you right here? Ugh. You be able to see anything? Yeah, that'll work. So it's been sitting for about about two days, so it's nothing nothing spectacular. It's just a seat uh Steeda exhaust, factory manifolds, intake and everything. So cold start. Ruby red, uh, first gem. 
She is a stick shift, five speed. She don't have all the bells and whistles just yet, but that's what I'm coming to y'all for. Should I do it? Because I could do it. I could put everything on. I could put everything on. You know, as far as... I could put everything on as far as like my intake and everything. I really don't have a place to set you guys. But I'm not really like about to go anywhere. So I'll set you guys right there for a minute. But I can do everything. Um, it wouldn't be a problem. Like adding everything that I want to get done to her. Uh, it's just should I. Would you start bolting on like full bolt on parts on a car with 131,000 miles on it since I've had the car I've probably put maybe uh, probably about 1200 miles on it if so took a nice little road trip and everything went good with that so I know she's capable I could take her around where I need to go you know I'm gonna hear the exhaust go ahead a little a little rev nothing spectacular it is still early over here people are asleep yeah so the state exhaust does sound good but there's other exhausts out there that's with the competition that's way way better and satisfying than you know for mustang owners like myself you know been on been 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 a mustang guy for a while my brother actually had a mustang before me and he did have a v8 it was an automatic and i believe it was a 2003 2002 mustang gt and i always liked it, the sound of that car i've been in the cars since i was like 17 but i always been into that sound just that beefy sound man you can't you can't beat it man and even from the older cars that I had, my Cadillacs, my old school Cadillacs, my Marquises, my my Monte Carlos, my Caprices, they never just gave me this this sound. They could never give me that. And Mustangs seem to fulfill that or whatever. And I love it. But now I got this car and I don't know if I should or shouldn't start adding my this car like headers uh, if I should add headers uh, my cold air intake because right now she's just factory under here it's nothing nothing really different under here but cleanness because I do keep my car clean that was kind of hard to do with one hand but yeah I'm gonna start making content a little bit more for you guys especially on my car because it's something that I enjoy and it's something that I love. And I think everyone should love their vehicle no matter what kind of car it is. A lot of people get lost in how much a car costs and all that extra stuff. But me personally, I don't care as long as you keep your car clean. That's what that's what matters, right? If you got a clean car, you uh does what you need it to do and um you're satisfied with it, so I just had to get some little leaves because as you see I am parked underneath the tree and the birds they kind of do love my car but she has a stock 4.6 uh, I do plan on getting cold air intake with the tuner from American Muscle Thing, uh, I already know which one I'm going to get it's going to be the JLT Series 3 I think it adds like 34 horse, 38 horsepower 32 foot pounds of torque with the tuner I don't think it comes with this box the box that it sits in right here but if not we'll still be satisfied with it because it will change the overall look in my engine my engine bay but today i just wanted to come out here and check my oil because i don't run my car hard people people tend to get these mustangs and just dog the hell out of them but i'd rather have it last me a while so i can fully enjoy it See if I can sit you guys right here real quick. Okay. I need to check some fluids. So I believe I could prop you up right here. All right, we're good. So yeah, uh, what you guys think? You guys think I should get some headers? Cause before I get headers, I will be getting my cold air intake. That's a fact. I would rather have 
have her breathing up top first and notice she's actually uh, is getting the correct amount of air more air is what I need more air more power so yeah I'm just checking my oil right now and you know uh, if you haven't liked or subscribed feel free to like and subscribe because I will be posting on here a lot I lost my um my other account my other youtube channel because i forgot my password but i was young i was young and youtube wasn't booming like it is booming now with uh car content but yeah let me see if i can get you guys a, a view of what's going on here so yeah just had to check my oil that uh sits over here sits right right here so that's dipstick. Pull that out, check the oil. But yeah, my engine bay is really clean. I keep my car really clean. I haven't let you guys see the inside, so I guess I'll let you guys see the inside. My oil is pretty pretty average, you know, for it's not black, so that's what matters. I don't have black oil. No one wants black oil, right? Black oil brings dark problems. <laughs> No one wants black oil. But yeah, the inside of her, I'm about to flip you guys around. I'm using my front camera. But uh, she is pretty clean. She is pretty clean. I keep her clean. That's my dreadlock right here. So did you see that? And these are my dreads. Uh, she is clean. Back is clean. Besides my work hat. But she's all clean. All speaky clean. I do have a backup camera. Uh, I have a backup camera. Got a her shifter. Uh, got beat. So I got the sounds and all of everything. But yeah, what do you guys think? Should I get the cold air intake? Um, my, uh, I'm getting boiler attacks. That's that's not even a question. For, for my exhaust, axle backs. Uh, I already have my mind made up on what kind I want and the kind that I want is boiler attack because they just sound so good, bro. Like, you can't beat that. Like, I mean, yeah, so uh, headers, I'm going long tubes. So if you guys have any advice on uh, good long tubes to get, uh, go ahead and let me know down in the comments because I, I will be reading the comments on my video all negative and positive so if you you negative guys got anything negative you want let me know feel free to drop your negative lifestyle in my comment you know all is welcome man i love you all but yeah she's clean man 2005 mustang gt is it worth fully bolting on a car worth with 130,000 miles on it Comment below, yes, no. You would, if so, show me your Mustang that you start building on with 100 plus thousand miles. Sorry for the angles, y'all. I'm a tall guy. I'm 6'4 out here. So, yeah. And I think that is summed up for the video. Uh, hope you guys like the little cold start. Uh, hope you guys like the video. The sun is like right there in my, my face, so excuse me for that. But, yeah, if you guys think I should fully bolt her on because she does have exhaust uh, right there. She does have exhaust. She just needs the the right setup for it. So that's going to wrap this video up for today. Uh, my 2005 Mustang GT. Uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you guys next time. All right. Peace. Push.